Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skladowski and it's time for another episode of iPhone Friday. Every Friday, a little bit more help with tips and tricks to make your iPhone and your iPad that much more useful and helpful. Thought we'd talk a little bit about phone call stuff today, actually using the phone. Well, more than using it, it's actually like trying to prevent calls that you don't want to get or getting calls that you absolutely do have to get. Confused? Stay tuned, as they always used to say in the old TV shows, right? Um, let's talk for a minute about uh, how you might uh, prevent calls from coming in from certain people or to block people or whatever, okay? So for starters, there's a, a big way, like a universal kind of a thing to do, and then we'll talk about individual ones. So all of this, let's jump over to the phone here. All of this, of course, starts with our friend settings there, as it always does. So let's uh, jump into settings. And then in settings, just scroll down just a little bit and get to, obviously, phone, green telephone. Same as the icon on the uh, front page of your uh, iPhone there, right? So under phone, you can scroll down a tidbit and there is an, uh, an entry called Silence Unknown Callers. See it right there, Silence Unknown Callers, all right? So if you tap on that, it explains to you exactly what it's gonna do. If you turn it on by sliding the switch over, calls from unknown numbers will be silenced, your phone won't ring, and they will be sent to voicemail. Now they will show up in the recent call list, you know, where it's like your recent calls, in and out. And we'll show that in a second, so you'll see it. So. Calls, however, will continue to ring, and this is the important part. If the person calling you is on your contact list, you know, they're on your list of contacts, then it will ring through. So this is really good if you just want to hear from friends and family and people that you know. Now, for some of us, like yours truly, who, you know, uses his phone for business, that wouldn't work for me. Well, I mean, it could but then any new customer that calls me is gonna go immediately to my voicemail. You may or may not want that, but it's an option. So that's Silence Unknown Callers, which is under the uh, phone options there in settings. I'm gonna leave it off because, well, you know, I use my phone for business. So let's back up. Oh, can't you later. Thank you very much for showing up. All right, let's back up. So the next thing is for getting rid of um, individual phone callers, okay? So that could work to block a spam caller if, if that caller is using the same phone number over and over again, more on that in a moment, or if you just don't wanna hear from somebody anymore or whatever, you can block an individual number. So for that, go down to the bottom there with the, uh, with the phone, right, and tap on the phone. And I'm in the list of recent calls. See at the very bottom there where the blue recents is lit up? And these are the calls that I've had, you know, coming in and out of my phone in the past, whatever, 24 hours, okay? So now look, there's one right there that says spam risk. I could try blocking that, but you know what? They'll probably never call back on that number ever again. So you could try it, but let's try something else instead. How about, I don't know what this 407729 number is. I don't know what that was, okay? But Maybe that was a spam call, or maybe that was somebody I don't care to hear from anymore. Either way, here's how you block them, and it's really simple. You just tap on that blue I button over there on the right side of the listing, okay? And this shows you all the information of the call. You know, it was yesterday at 3.17 in the afternoon, lasted 11 minutes. If I scroll down, there it is, right at the bottom. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Block this caller, all right? Now, in the future, maybe we'll take a look because it blocks the number and that number, it doesn't run, ring through. By the way, so what happens when you block it? It does not ring through, it does not go to voicemail, nothing. The call is blocked, okay? Now you can go back later and unblock those calls and that might be another video for another day because I've got another couple of topics that I wanted to mention. But that's block this caller and to get to it, you're at the recent numbers, recent calls that have come in and out of your phone, okay? now. Uh, last but not least is sometimes you have the phone on silent or you have the phone in one of the new uh, uh, focus modes, they call that. Like if you swipe up from the bottom of the phone, you know, like I've showed you that before. If you swipe up from the bottom of the phone there, you'll get that do not disturb. See that right there on the left side? You can toggle that on and off with, 
you know, if I'm filming my iPhone video and I don't want to be disturbed, I tap on do not disturb, right? Or if I'm working, maybe I don't want the phone to ring or there's different settings for that. That's another video for another day. But suffice to say, if I'm on do not disturb, that phone's not going to ring. Okay. Now that it's not going to ring from anybody, no matter what. Maybe, just maybe, there's somebody that you do need to hear from, even if you're in do not disturb mode. And there's lots of reasons for that. We won't get into that. But, you know, there's going to be some times where you, like, I'm expecting an important call and I need this person to come through. Okay. So, again, that particular number or person needs to be in your contacts. So let's go over to contacts, see the little gray icon there, and tap on that. And let's find a contact. All right, Susan, I don't even know who Susan Baker is anymore, probably an old client. But anyway, let's uh, scroll down. Now, this one is, it's a little odd the way they kind of hit it in there, okay? So if I want the phone to ring when Susan calls me, even if I have it in Do Not Disturb, okay, tap on Edit up there in the upper right corner, okay? Scroll down to where it says Ringtone, okay? and tap on ringtone and then down here or right here at the top rather it shows emergency bypass and then I have to toggle it on emergency bypass allows sounds and vibrations from this person when the ring switch is set to silent or in a focus mode so like we just said if I have it in focus or do not disturb or whatever okay the phone's not gonna ring but if I really really need to hear from Susan I can set this to emergency bypass and it will ring on through. Okay, so then turn it off. Done. Done. Okay, good. All right, so that's a couple, three different things that you can do to try to block unwanted callers and spam and things like that. Now, I should say that there's a, a government website out there called do not call .gov, and you can go there and sign yourself up. And yes, it's a government run website, so you could pretty much trust them with your information, right? Uh, and it will put you on those do not call lists that are out there. Now, does it work? No, not 100% of the time. Sometimes there's just unscrupulous spammers out there who are going to call phone numbers no matter what, whether they're on the list or not. So it might help if you get a lot of spam calls or if you're trying to cut down on that thing. It's do not call dot gov. And perhaps in a future episode, we'll go in and uh, talk about that a little bit more and I'll step through it and show you how it works. But really, all you have to do is go to the website and sign yourself up with your you know, phone number, obviously, to make sure that it doesn't uh, go through. OK, well, that's going to do it for this week. I hope you found that stuff helpful. I do have one more thing. Now, I, I told you I was working on it last time, but look at this. There's a new website coming. Actually, it's already up and running. You can go visit Bill's iPhone tips dot com. Clever, right? Bill'sIPhoneTips.com. So if you've missed any of the iPhone Friday videos, you can catch up on them there. And also, starting something brand new coming on Monday, we're going to start with the uh, iPhone iPad Monday Minute, which is just a little bite-sized thing of how to do one quick thing, quick and easy, hopefully in a minute or less, and show you how to uh, use your iPhone that much better. All right, there we go. So that's going to do it for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, if you have questions or comments, please, uh, wherever you happen to be watching this, Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that. By the way, if you look at the bottom there, youtube.com slash C slash my name, Bill Sklodowski. That will take you to the YouTube channel as well. But either way, either with the uh, YouTube channel or the blog site, all the videos are going to be there. So check on that and uh, catch up if you need to. All right. It's going to do it for this week. Have yourself a great weekend. Take care.